Hello, uh, today I'm going to show you how to import data from Microsoft Excel into NED3. So you'll start out by opening the Excel spreadsheet that you entered your data into and you'll save it as a text file. Now if you are already using a Windows computer you can just save this as a tab dominated text file .txt. So I'm going to label this as Windows Data. You'll hit save. As a text file, you can only save the active sheet, so you'll go ahead and do that, and then continue. And depending on uh, what version or program of Apple or Windows you're using, some of the prompts may vary slightly, but generally the same. Um, but again, I'm using an Apple for this, so I can't use just the regular tab delimited file. Otherwise, when you import it to NED, it'll be slightly off and slightly different. So I need to save this instead as a Windows formatted text.txt file. So I'm going to save this as Mac data. Go ahead and save. And then I'm going to close my Excel spreadsheet. And this time I'm not going to save because I want to keep this uh, in as an Excel file. So next I'm going to go ahead and open the program NED3. Now because I am using a Mac I had to download an additional package or software to let me uh, run .exe programs and files such as NED and Silva so if you have a Mac you'll need to do something similar. And once the program opens up, uh, underneath Inventory, you will click on Enter Edit Inventory Data. And then just below that, you will click on Stands. And then over to the side, you'll click Add. And so it'll give you a few different options to create a new stand, to import stands from, or import stands from Excel or Axis. I've tried that before, but I've not had very much success with it, so I'm going to show you how to import stands from uh, text files. And so below underneath file types, uh, for me it already came up as ASCII files.txt. If it does not already say that, you'll need to change it to that file type so that your files will appear. I'll click on Mac Data, Open, and then I'm going to click on the File Schemas tab. And in the drop down menu, I'm going to select uh, my file. If you look at your data, it'll appear a little unusual. And so under delimiters, you'll need to click on tab and it'll look a little more normal. And from here, you'll need to create a new schema and you'll see your data below uh, with red uh, column headers. And so you want to change those from red to gray. And you'll do that by clicking on them and then uh, clicking on overstory data because that's the type of data that we collected and then correctly uh, name each of those column headers and so for this first column I'm just gonna label it as tree name and I'll double click on the next one and because of the way that I label it Ned has already been able to figure out uh, for the most part what each of these headers represent so I'll need to make sure each one goes from red to gray. And once I've completed that, I will then go over to species and select species. And so red maple is one that already appeared in my data. So I can uh, shift that from the left to the right. And you could look up any uh, type of tree that was in your data set. So there's sugar maple also. Uh, but I'll just click OK and I'll choose to automatically generate codes. So as long as you entered in your Excel spreadsheet uh, species in a way that Ned would recognize, FIA codes, uh, USDA plant database symbols, um, common names, scientific names, Jed, or Ned will recognize them. So you can click yes, click OK, and then it will ask you to save this as a .ini file. So I'll go ahead and save it, Mac data, hit save, click OK, click OK again, it'll give you a pop-up, 
online. I generally find this not very useful, so I just close it. Then understands, understand one, you can look to your overstory plots observations and all of your data has been imported into NED. I hope this was helpful and thanks for watching.